Right, welcome to this Battlefield Terrain tutorial. I've got another setup for you here. Uh, a rusty, rugged, industrial uh, theme going on with this board. Stay tuned, so a brief video it's just to give you a rundown how this terrain is put together. You're welcome to copy as any and all aspects uh, that we run through here in this video. I'll leave links for you in the video description below. There's no reason why uh, you can take the elements discussed here and create your own tables uh, to the standard for your own games of Warhammer 40,000. So first step is the foundation. The batter mats are very useful for that. It gives you a nice color palette, gives you a great gaming surface, and there is no effort. You just roll the mat out, and you've got that gaming surface ready to go. So that's half of the job done. Uh, so this mat is called Fallout Zone. Uh, the one I'm running here at the moment is six by four in size. So I just marked off the edge out across there with the fences. You can get this one in the 60 by 44 inches for your regular games of Warhammer 40,000. They've also just produced uh, this mat with all of the Nexus uh, markings on it for the new uh, prior Nexus deck. So all of the deployment zones where you place the objective markers on the board is all marked out for you on this mat. So you can check that out. Uh, it's their competitive mat. It's, you just get exactly the same design, but some very faint lines running through just showing you very, very useful to showing you all the markings are uh, for all of the missions. For that new deck so you can check that out i'll put a link in the video description below for this battle mat at the 60 by 44 inch size you can check out the other sizes if you want different uh, sizes from them there's also a discount code that you can use from gamemat.du for 11 percent off across the store that's for their terrain uh, and also the battle mats as well so you can get a hold of these at a discount and do bear in mind they also do double-sided mats so you can get one design on one side flip the mat over and then get a second design on the other for extra value the mats come with a carry case, They're great for taking around friends' houses or to your local gaming club, great for storage. Uh, they roll out dead flat uh, and then a nice soft surface, figure friendly, nice and quiet for your dice roll, no clattering sounds as well uh, when you're rolling uh, the dice on these mats. It just gives you the colour theme. So this one's running lots of browns, there's greys running through here, lots of grimy colours and it's just a case of getting the terrain uh, to match in with the board as closely as possible. So the terrain for this mat is made up of two elements. The first there in the middle, it's the Battle Zone Nakmund set from Games Workshop. So that's these walls around here. Uh, these actually come in two parts, just stacked them up for extra height and added the tower there as well. The walls over there, that satellite thing as well. It's all part of that one box set from Games Workshop. Superb set, it really is good. Uh, but obviously not enough to fill a table so what I've done is I've bulked out the rest of the board with one set as of the industrial terrain set from Games Workshop you see the design of this one it's quite similar to this they actually match up quite well uh, so the industrial terrain set is this I've since added a platform on top just to create a flatter area but you get this larger building at one of those uh, you then get four of these so I've put two here and two across the other side uh, you get some pipes which I've stacked up, but they come in threes, like three lengths of pipe stacked up, but you can then stack them up to make bigger piles. And then you get four of these large containers across. So you also get a, a dozen crates and boxes, which I haven't included on the board here, but that comes as part of that set also. So really one set from Games Workshop, uh, one industrial pre-painted terrain set from GameMat.eu, and this table is filled out very nicely indeed. Uh, it's pre-painted, it comes in sort of this kind of color scheme across here. I've then gone on to enhance it, added in some extra metallics, some chipping effects, some rusting, and then some colours here. Avalon Sunset for this yellow colour, corn red, also just gone for some kind of admec kind of colours uh, just to mix up uh, that design. So in the video description below, I'd, I will leave you a link for the industrial train set and also the upgrade video showing you how you can uh, quickly upgrade and change the colours around on the industrial train set. Those sets are useful enough. Uh, they come pre-painted, pre ready assembled. Just unpack them and play. So you get a hold of the mat, get a hold of the terrain, and then just go ahead and play uh, with that straight away. If you want to enhance it like I've done here, and do check out the painted tutorial uh, for that. That pretty much fills out the board. The rest is accessories and finishing touches. Uh, so massive fan of these walkways, which I've made. These are scratch built. Here, people have been asking for years on the channel how they're made. There is a tutorial for these on the channel showing you where, what materials and how to construct and put them together. 
You'll see these in most of my tables because they're just so useful for spanning across gaps. So that units can just move across, move across here. So you just create a second level to your, gap, to your tables, which I think is great to have. So walkways across here, I've actually fixed this one in place on this piece, just to give a nice flat area on top. Uh, spanning across terrain over here and again and over here as well. So you see those spread around the board. The same process used to make these propaganda posters, like this one. And also the same process used to make these primitive fences as well. I've done a tutorial for that, so link below uh, showing you how that can be done. Uh, in that YouTube video. So they're tricky enough to make. Once you have them, you can just use them across uh, the different tables that you have. So that's walkways, fences, and the uh, the billboards here, the propaganda posters. The other accessories is these uh, guard casualties across here. You can see them spread around. I think they're brilliant finishing touch. Just really gives that battlefield uh, feel. You can see the details of them here. Just love these things you get or oh, this set you get about 25 casualties in a set and uh, they're available from longbow BB gaming I'll leave a link for them in the video description below uh, very very quick to paint up just sprayed them gray added a few colors some washes and a bit of uh, blood for the blood god uh, and those were finished and again you can use them they fit perfectly on this terrain here uh, but you can use them uh, across a variety of terrain sets so once you have those kind of things just use them uh, in loads of games going forward so a little bit of effort well worth uh, doing is there's other accessories scattered around boxes of barrels uh, tank traps these are all from games workshop Munitorum containers as well uh, from games workshop also just trying to turn this into a 40k themed uh, terrain so those kind of things like casualties a scatter things like this here this admex stuff like pipes here from games workshop which i just they slot just great into the game mat.eu terrain uh just all really helped create that 40k 40k grimdark uh, kind of theme and the final finishing touch is the stones here which you'll see them just little piles it's trying to get the 2d to blend in with the 3d so these little stones just to blend the whole thing and just little piles of them scattered around the board which just helps to soften the hard edges of the terrain and blend it into the 2D nature of the battle map. And with all of those finishing touches, this is the kind of board uh, that you can get a, a war zone that's ready to go here. Looking forward to playing some games across this board. So links below. And I hope that walkthrough gives you a good idea. You're free to copy any and all of the elements I've talked about here. I uh, would encourage you to make the effort with terrain. It's worth doing. Once you have terrain sorted out, you can use it from one game to the next. It's worth the investment. Uh, worth a bit of time just to give you a great backdrop great atmospheric board uh, for your games of warhammer 40,000. keep look out for more videos in this series and as per usual we'll fade out with some music here just to capture the flavor of this industrial board mm -hmm.